Thank you. So nice to receive your email. As you can see, I'm still in hospital bed for a long journey to recover from the accident, which was stupid. Almost lost my life in this accident. Up to now, I don't know the cause of it. If it was defect on the bike or something else. I was using a Canyon Air Road, very nice bicycle, but uh, it happens to me three times before that, and uh, I was really scared. All the time I was going downhill, and uh, one I can remember easily is, and I cannot remember the day of the accident, okay? Anything, but uh, one day I was in a race, 100 kilometers race, and going downhill very fast when suddenly a wind, side wind hits the bike and the front wheel went wobbling, shaking like hell. I was holding the handlebar on the top of it and I managed to slowly, carefully throw my hand to the brakes. So I managed to, to touch the brake very slowly and I managed to stop that uh, shaking in the front wheel. But uh, the day I the accident, I really don't remember what happened. I was told the road was shitty, was really bad, and uh, there are lots of construction going on on the road, lots of gravel laying down on the floor. But uh, for this to send me, a guy who watched it said that my front wheel wobbling also, and I was, and suddenly I was throwing to the air and fell down. I imagine I was uh, at 85 kilometers per hour on a descent, me and the asphalt only. I had several bone, bones broken. I cannot walk today. I'm in rehabilitation center in Sydney. This happened in South Arabia where I was moving to a local hospital. The ambulance came late, like uh, one hour late. And uh, who saved my life was one of the guys whose mom is doctor. He rang her and she gave she gave me the first ad via phone. A part of that, uh, I, I reached the hospital with 10% of survival, chance of survival, which is really low. The, the doctors tend to exaggerate a bit in this. And being optimistic, they gave more than what I really have. I got that brain injury as well, which make half of my face 
paralyzed and uh, my left leg I can't control as the right one. Uh, I'm I'm still relearning how to walk. I can walk with the aid of a walker. Yeah. And before the accident, I had enrolled myself to the Ironman of Western Australia in Wisselton last year, December last year, but was postponed to this year. So I have this goal in mind, which is be ready to give everything in the Ironman in December this year, right? My motto will be the com from Coma to Kona. Yes, I had spent one month and a half in Coma, so you could see the damage this accident had done to me. Right now I'm recovering, I'm really grateful for whatever I have, for my family, for my friends, but it will be a long journey from where, where I am right now, right? So thank you for your email. Was well, really good, really motivating, inspirational. Coming from you, an email like that. Okay, my friend, thank you so much for your kind words. And uh, I hope I can inspire people to do sports to live a healthier life, right? <laughs> That's it, all right? Bye. Skander, my friend, how are you? Uh, I'm fine, thanks. I'm really good, yes. Doing what they say to me too to see if I can get out of this place quickly. Yes. How are you, man? Uh, I'm really well. Although sometimes I get lonely here in the hospital. The, because my family only comes in the time of me for visit. She cannot live here, which is a shame, right? All the hospitals I've been, she was sleeping with me. But uh, right now, no. Yeah, for a lot of that, everything is fine. Man. Can't complain, you know? It's a slow process in the recovery. It's a slow process. I must be patient, very patient. All right? Cheers, man. That's my friend. How are you, man? Here it's a bit cloudy, see? Yeah, it's been rainy every day. Uh, regarding to the rehabilitation, it's progressing, but it's something is slow, you know? 
I cannot uh, make it happen faster. I have to respect what the doctors say. Right? I might need an operation in the hips to remove the extra bone that is growing inside the muscle. You know, it's something very delicate. It's a operation that touch a very mm, area, an area which lots of nerves and blood vessels, you know. So I can only do this operation when complete sonia from accident, which will be next this July. July, August. All right, man. Uh, enjoy yourself and say hi to the girls for me, okay? Don't be shy. <laughs> Cheers, man. Bye. Hi, girls. How are you? I miss you so much. You can't believe. Uh, uh, this week I had, I, I made six months since my accident. It was very stupid. As Mario, you know, alhamdulillah, it could take my life. Nobody wants that, right? So, here I am. Recovery is slow, but steady. Uh, I'm in a hospital in Sydney. The best we have hospital in Australia. Yes. Um, today I had, I have a physiotherapy and hydrotherapy sessions. Also I had speech therapy. Uh, to correct some points in my voice. I had paralysis in the side of the the face. It's much better now. You can see I don't move properly this side. But anyway, how are things over there? At work, in your life, tell me. Get with Marcus my phone and add me in WhatsApp or Facebook or whatever. By the way, someone has Facebook, we can talk using Facebook, but you need to, you need to connect to me, all right? So, one day I, I'd like to talk to all of you. I wanted to go to say goodbye, but, uh, the guys did not allow me to go. They were afraid they, I get the COVID. But anyway, uh, see you soon, okay?